I've ten, ten of my dudes have died. What? Oh, fuck. I know. It's not good, Lewis. And there's still more. There are 11 dudes dead. What happened here? What happened here? We're better than this. <laughs> what happened here? Do you need like to build a memorial for your lost, the lost souls? I did lose quite a lot of people. I guess calling them all Steve or Dave saves a lot of time on the gravestone carving. It really does. Because you can just mass produce those graves. Oh no. <laughs> oh god. Did they run out of bullets or something? Maybe. There's still zombies coming in. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's the problem with having like a big moat is that they take them so long to get to the base. Oh. Although the guys are still here though, they're still defending. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So actually, it's not so bad. Actually, pretty fucking hard oh. working. So they don't the leave guards. until all the zombies are dead. Oh. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, the night guards literally just left. Yeah. Oh, man, fucking holy shit, those mine guys. Didn't. Mine left ages ago. Respect to them. Oh, <laughs> mine only just left. Yeah, yeah, mine too. Mm. I think it's because I keep threatening them with a gun <laughs> if they leave earlier. Yeah, solves oh. everything. It solves everything. <laughs> Damn, I lost, like, Ill Ill tons of guys. How many do you have? Well, I've got 30, 30, 28. Bloody hell. I mean, that's a lot. I'm having to buy a lot more troops, though. I've just put, like, four... I've put, like, six day guards I've only on. got two guards. Hmm. And they cope pretty well, actually. Yeah? Pretty. Mm. I've got three, so, uh... <sighs> kind of a you're... big deal over here! And I do have to do a little bit of work with them, you know, but oh. it, it's always good for the, you know, the, to see their commander... Yeah, morale. getting down and dirty with the troops. So if you were like a like a military general type person, I'm picturing more old school. Like it doesn't really make as much sense to do it like new school. But would would do you reckon you'd be like, what kind of thing would you like to be? Would you like to be someone who's like uh, you know fighting on the front line? Uh, imagine you're like a Warhammer character type thing, right? Or actually, like this might be a shard bearer. Haven't played it, but like so in Warhammer. Ancient, so it's basically like very realistic. It uses the Warhammer rules, but it's set in, you know, you get Romans, Carthaginians, right. uh, you know, it's all historical. Um, you get like leaders. I mean, if I literally had superpowers, I would probably want to, you know, be with the troops and stuff. Well, but... it's kind of like, do you want to be like someone who's very good at commanding? Would you want to be on the front line? How how what would be your like? The front line strength? sounds dangerous. It does right. sound dangerous, doesn't it? Yeah. So no, I wouldn't want to be there. But like you know, inspire inspire the troops. Be cool, guy. I mean, if it, maybe if I had like, I don't know, like something that couldn't die, like an armored something. An armored what? <laughs> uh, like a I don't know, like a Mumakai or something. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, so just you and your giant armored elephant. <laughs> right. That would inspire them. Very specific. Uh, but that's cool, you know. I'm into that. <laughs> sure, if I had a giant thing that made me immune to damage. <laughs> yeah, I would, yeah. Yeah, I'd do it. If sure, I could die, not? then no, I probably would stay behind, maybe. I think I'd like to captain some sort of thing, like an airship, you know. Oh, an oh. airship. Okay. Yeah. It's hard to come... Well, I guess you actually, because you've got the whole view of the battlefield, it's much easier to, like... You know, know know what to do, like send orders and stuff like that. I guess if you had, had like semaphore. Yeah. Well, just... like uh, Napoleon had um, hot air balloons he used for that. Did he? No, not just a me not just one fucking guy in a hot air balloon. I'd have like a proper big zeppelin. A zeppelin. Yeah, like Indiana Jones with a little dining hall in it. No ticket. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, would you be, would you be like dropping bombs on hand people? grenades off? Uh, yeah, chucking hand grenades off at people. Um, I don't even care about getting blown up and stuff, and the whole thing being a just a big fire trap. I don't know, <laughs> quite, <laughs> quite, quite yeah, fun. yeah, it's yeah. They uh, there's a reason why they don't use them in war very much. Would you use hydrogen or helium? Well, we'd have to use helium because hydrogen is just. I mean, it's an accident waiting to happen. <laughs> Everyone will be smoking in there anyway. So I mean, I feel like. <laughs> I feel like anything other than an helium would just be stupid. It would just be reckless. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my God, the helium! Just would I be allowed on your ship as like your helmsman, and I'm just there smoke, smoking a cigarette? You'd and, be, and... I'd be like, what? Why are the engines not going faster? <laughs> you'll be my engineer. And you'll be all dirty and like greasy and covered in grime with a cigarette hanging out of your mouth. Oh, I'd, yeah, with a I'd, flat cap. I'd, yeah, I'd, I'd get into that. I'd be in the smart suit and I'd be like, "Helmsman, quickly! We need more power to the engines." 
And Tom just starts shoveling coal in because it's, it's now it's a like, steamship. Okay. Oh, yes, Captain. <laughs> yes, my lord. <laughs> yes, my lord. We're going as fast as we can, Captain. <laughs> Any faster and she'll break up in midair. Oh, Captain Brindley, sir. <laughs> uh, man, okay, yeah, we, we can do this. Now, you listen here, C- uh, Vice Engineer Clark, uh, first, first mate Clark. You better buck your ideas up, I or else, crikey, I'll kill all you! Oh, jeez! Although actually, that wouldn't probably really wouldn't work be that in bad a, a, on an airship, airship would it? Oh, There's no barnacles. Get air barnacles. Oh, oh. I'll keel haul you. What is keel hauling normally? Uh, it's where they um, they tie a rope around you, and th- it gets like looped around the ship, and they drag you. They throw you over one side and drag you underneath the ship. Oh, and, right. Um, because traditionally. The bottom of the boat is covered in barnacles. The lacerations is usually a fatal thing, oh, like a God. fatal punishment. That sounds awful. I, it's originally yeah. I thought it was like water skiing, but no, it's not like <laughs> no, that. No, no, it's no, no. <laughs> if someone ever invites you to a keel hauling holiday, yeah. don't do it. It's going to be really, really painful. Or and like just you're going to die watch. of like septicemia and things like oh, that. Oh, gross! If you ever, have you seen Black Sails? Uh, no, I haven't. I don't think. Is there- Pretty gruesome keel hauling scene. Oh god! In that they, he doesn't die it the first or second fun. or third time, so they just keep doing it until oh. he's like literally ribbons. Oh, <laughs> the multiple keel hauling sounds yeah. horrible. That is awful, Duncan. I, I'm totally not cool with. I mean, pirates are quite a fun thing. <laughs> no, no, they're horrible uh, murdering rapists generally. Uh, okay. That, that steal and do just horrible things to people. Well, this was the British Army doing it. Well, you know, this privateers <laughs> well, Navy, are basically, basically fucking pirates. Uh, there, there is genuinely a scary amount of zombies coming now. Yeah. Well, it's not that there's a lot coming. It's that they don't die in the break. And there's also fast ones that come first. They're not too bad. It's, it's the ones that have a lot of health are bad because it means that the other ones stack up behind them. Yeah. All right. Well, that means you just they don't, don't have enough defense. They don't though. thin the hordes out. Well, I don't have much defence, no. Right, how are we making bricks? How's bricks a thing? What do I need for bricks? What do you mean bricks? Stone bricks? Yeah, yeah. You just you dig it out the ground. Dutch, no, uh, bricks. It's a Dutch game after all. Not not um stone bricks. The other bricks. Oh, brick bricks. They get smelted with clay and firewood. Clay? Yeah. You can right click on the smelter, you'll see. What the fuck? What the hell? I got rid of my smelter. Oh, there's a fucking zombie in my house. Oh shit! No, 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 no. Oh fuck! It was like a big zombie. <laughs> oh god, there's another one. Fuck! Stop! Stop! Oh, oh, I'm out of fucking stones. Come. Oh. When do I learn archery? I do uh. that now. Oh shit! We're out of food. Oh shit, Lewis. It's because he had to buy like a load of guys. They cost food. Oh fuck me! The, there's a breach. There's a breach. Um. Oh god, I think people are dying of hunger. Oh, oh, there's a dude attacking my flag, you pricks. Everyone's dying of hunger. <laughs> oh god, Lewis! Shit. It's because you spent all your food buying new guys. I did. Yeah. You can't do that. Oh shit, the bed. Okay. Oh, I know what you mean, Lewis. That was a bad evening. I lost seven more guys. Jeez. Oh my god. Wait, well, eventually it'll even out, right? I don't the, know. Almost the farmers don't die. I don't know if the farmers are the ones that starving to death. Oh, this has been going really badly from my by my angle. That that we've we've had a few bad nights. I think um, it's that problem that each of us has a independent defence of each other, whereas before we had like one single choke point that we all were defending with our guys. Oh, yeah, right. Whereas now we each have our own choke point. It's uh, like we are a country. We used to be a country with our own. It's combined army. Yeah. Like we, 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 we were like the EU. No, well, not quite. Well. Like the United Kingdom. Yeah. You know, and now I'm England. Actually, I'm not really England, am I? I'm Ireland. Um, You're I'm Ireland. Northern Ireland. You're England and Wales? I guess. I've got the boat, so I'll be England. Okay. Duncan Jones is Welsh. Bam. I don't know. I think I'm more like... Um, Scotland? Jamaica. Jamaica. Ah, oh, okay. Perfect. <laughs> Jamaican me horny. Nice. Oh, damn it. I spent all my food again. Oh, Lewis, don't do that. 
cut down a bit. You, you got too many guys too quickly. Okay. I've 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 grown too greedily. Dug too deep. It's all right. I'm gonna put a couple more farms up top here. Although I don't only really have that many wheat seeds. A hundred more wheat seeds. Okay, that's fine. I can set up one more farm. That's enough for a farm. Yeah. Hey, nice. Yeah, that's what you want. It's my berry bushmen who are keeping me in the game. I think. Yeah, I still got a bunch of berry bushmen. They too. just came out. And they were like, don't worry, guys, that we know there's been a massive famine in the colony <laughs> and loads of, loads of you being eaten by zombies. But the berry boys. The berry boys. <laughs> we're here to save you. We're going to come and pick those goddamn berries all day. We're going to feed you. Open wide. Nah. <laughs> we're going to bury you. <laughs> and they give you berries. Oh, Technologist table, tailor shop. So, oh, have I got a tailor shop being crafted automatically? Have you guys done all of your Christmas presents this year? Have you like, have you, have no. you sorted everything no, out? No, not, not, even not really bit. at all. <laughs> Who's the hardest to buy for, do you think, in your family? Oh. My, my dad. Dads are always a tricky one, aren't they? Yeah. Well, usually I would buy him like a book, but for his like 60th, I bought him a Kindle and signed up on the Amazon, so I just told him to buy anything he wants. So now... And I thought at the, at the time that's a fucking amazing gift, like all the books in the world, basically ever. Yeah. But now it means I can't fucking buy many books. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, you didn't future proof yourself. I know. You can still buy him books. You made yourself your presence obsolete. <laughs> exactly. <in future. laughs> oh god. Um, oh, that's yeah. a tough one, dude. And also, he's vegan and doesn't drink. So. Oh. Fuck you knows. What, what do you what do you buy someone like that? Um, you get them Socks. some some some. Hmm. Yeah, <laughs> natural socks. So they have to be like alpaca, yeah. wool, organic socks made from sustainably farmed alpacas. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Alpacas also have to craft them themselves. <laughs> and sewn by alpacas, harvested from al given given away freely by alpacas. Like the wool that's come off, you know, naturally. You know, it can't be. It it, it has to just. It's just like, has fallen off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it takes ages to get it. It's collected from all the fluff on the barbed wires, you know. Oh. It collects on, like, the edge of the, the fences, you know. Okay. Yeah. Where they scratch themselves. They're like, oh, I've got an itch. And then it's like a tuft of alpaca wool. And you can use that to make the socks. But nothing else. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know. Some people are very, very um, strict about their um, where their stuff comes from. And it's cool. It's good to do. I um, I went upstairs. I, I live in a, in a flat. And... Um, I it's like a it's like a there's there's an area that I've not been into before which is like the main sort of flat so my flat's kind of like a basement flat right I'm giving away a lot of information here but it's fine <laughs> um, and there's like an upstairs because it's like a, one of these big Victorian townhouses mm. and the upstairs is like about ten more flats you know and um, I'd never been in uh, the upstairs area because I thought you know but but. I, there was a parcel coming, right? And so this was on Saturday. I was like, okay, I know I have to go out and I have to do things, um, but there's a parcel coming, so I'm going to stay in and watch it. And so I watched it on like live ca live cam, and it was like, yeah, he's in, he's in like the road outside. And I was like, okay, he's like coming down the road. And then I saw him like go past my house, and it was like delivery is coming. And I was like, okay, he's gone the wrong way, but that's fine. <laughs> and so I was watching it, you know, spying on him basically. <laughs> And as he slowly sort of found his way. And then suddenly it changed to package given to householder or oh. whatever. Package oh. handed to resident. And I was like, well, well fuck me. I'm, <laughs> I didn't get a package. I'm pretty sure I'm not <laughs> holding onto a package right now. And oh, I'm, shit. And so, and then like the dot like, you know, disappears off and off somewhere else to do the rest of the delivery. It's like, I was like, hmm. So I went to the upstairs area because I thought someone might have. Taking it, but because it's like a shared lobby, you know, there's never anyone. You know, no one's gonna, no one's gonna pick up the packages, are they, in the shared lobby? So I was a bit suspicious. Anyway, I looked upstairs, and it was the first time I'd ever been in there in the, like six months I've lived in this place. And there was like an incredible stack of mail for me, like like oh, a like hundred pieces of mail for me. Jesus like, there Christ! Was, like, three birthday cards from October. <laughs> oh my god! Like one from my dad. It had like a ten pound W H Smith gift voucher <laughs> in it or some stupid shit. 
Um, because my dad was like, oh, did you get the birthday card? And I'm like, oh, yeah, I probably did, whatever. I just never, <laughs> I never really thought. Oh, no. And it was like, you know, there were like loads of final electricity bills. And I was like, oh, shit, better fucking pay this. Oh, like shit. council tax bill, oh, like shit. bank statements, like just so much stuff. And I, I didn't think it was that. I didn't think it was. I didn't think I, that I was missing that much mail, is what I'm saying. It turns out that no one knows where I live. Like, it's so quiet that even like they're flipping postman can't find my door and has to put it through the wrong oh door oh, man but then no one else in the flat like 10 other people they've sent me like noise complaints and stuff but they've never even considered like i don't know dropping off the the stack of mail for me the super mail and so i'm not sure what to do about this christmas thing i guess i'm gonna to to say on amazon i assumed like first of all i assumed someone probably picked it up and then they would just pass it on right because like a bunch of times you know, previously I've had stuff delivered from other people and I, you know, I get home, I find that it's been delivered and I'm like, okay, I'll I'll um just take it over. No probs. Um Yeah, these 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 big zombies are getting through guys. It's so I've got a bow guy now. A bow guy? He How has a hundred a... damage and shoots much further. Oh, oh so see, I see I have, one shot. have a bow. Dudes. Can you only make copper arrows though? Yeah, but it, it they one shot these little zombies. Oh fuck. I might need to actually to do that. Because uh I'm having to work significantly yeah. harder. I'm I've not got, having any problems. I've got 300 bronze arrows. 300? In stock. Bronze? Oh, and no, I've got bronze arrows, yeah. So I, I only made 20, and I think it's not going to quite last a night. But I'll up it to 50. Wait, how, are you, how are you going to get attacked by, like, 20 dudes? Like, I think I think me being in the middle of you two, I'm getting... No, I'm not getting attacked by 20 dudes. I'm, that's what I said, it's not going to last a night. Um, All right. Because they've run out let's now. Let's get myself a bowman then. There's no more arrows. Nighttime guards, bow. Nighttime bow guard. Yeah, I might need to upgrade to bow guards as well. Okay. Let's see what these. See if these guys. Yeah, do I might any good. upgrade the slingers eventually. At the moment, Ooh. but well, the one bow seems to be coping. I mean, I just need more arrows. Yeah, I mean, the slingers are are really really pathetic. Well, they they, they, they do kill the zombies. For me, like they, they are killing them. Eventually. Yeah, but I mean, it's a bit scary, isn't it? Oh, oh, no! Oh my guys! Oh no! What? Stop! Stop! You fiend! They've run out of rocks! They've run out of fucking rocks! Oh, How did they run out of rocks? Uh. Oh! Oh no! <laughs> One of them's died. I've run out of rocks. Make make more more. Oh, I died. <laughs> you died. Oh fuck. Oh Jesus, Duncan. It, it went horribly wrong for me as well. A guy was like chomping on my flipping. How did I run out of rocks? D oh no, I got to do this all myself now. All my guards are dead. Oh shit. And there's a lot of zombies coming. I'll come help. And I'm out of rocks. <laughs> what about your what about your arrow, arrow boys? Well, you're we gonna have arrows instantly. I didn't Arrow, make enough. Arrowman. Oh. Apparently, 20 was nowhere near enough. That's <laughs> hmm. right. I lost three guys and I just got to defend them personally for a bit. I think ah, I should... How did I run out of rocks? <laughs> I guess I'm not crafting them. Oh no, they're coming out! All my dudes are coming out! <laughs> Lewis, I need your help. Uh, it's uh, boarding. Let's just. Okay. I'm coming. I'm coming over. It's a long run. Hold the choke point. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, I think I think for for. Oh yeah, one of them just fucking like sucker punched my um my shit. guy going to work. <laughs> oh, this is tough. Are you still fighting him? Yeah. I'm coming over, but I'm, I'm running as fast as I can. I don't, I don't think you're going to make it. Everyone's at work oh, outside. Shit. There are zombies in your little tiki hats. I don't, oh no, they can't be. There, I got one. Oh god, they're coming out the sea, Duncan, still. I know! Sea zombies. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm not crafting any rocks. Well, I don't have any a source of stone, that's what it is. Hello. Oh. Can oh. you get a guy to mine stone for me? Like, is that a thing I can do? Yeah, you can yeah. Just, just click on a bit of stone oh, and they'll mine right. it. Don't even have to go deep. I need to do that. You're right there. Is, is everything okay? Uh, there's still four, but I think I can get them. Thanks, guys. You saved me.